It's Regina Daniel is trying to ditch his billionaire husband. Please click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then click on the bell icon for notifications. Money. 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 Hey guys, welcome to Sivanos HD. If this is your first time here, please click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon for notification. Thank you. Also like this video and comment below what you think about this video. I've made other videos, you can check them out as well. Thank you so much and God bless. Here are the highlights for today. Rihanna spotted listening to Whiskey Oju Elegba. Kemi Onuloyo predicts Davido death with his involvement in politics. Bob Brisky wants Instagram users for addressing him as bro instead of babe. And lastly, Regina Daniels cheats on her husband to celebrate her ex-boyfriend's birthday. American pop singer, actress, and businesswoman Robin Rihanna Fenty has taken to her IG story to slay with Oju Eleba of Whiskey's IO album that was inspired by his experiences. Here is a video clip of Rihanna vibing to the song. What do you think about this? To me, it's a very, very, very good thing to me. Whiskey, in fact, Whiskey is doing us Nigerians very well. It's making us proud. Still in the news, Kemi Onlu lawyer wants Davido, as he has always been in the radical support of his uncle's political aspiration. The PDP advocate was also expelled from his National Youth Service Corp in 2018 following his campaign against the ruling party in the country, APC. The singer since then has continued to show his immense support for the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and further opposed the All Progressive Congress, APC. Recently, his uncle who won the election at Osun State was arrested. This hardened Davido's heart and prompted him to say things about the government. Meanwhile, his arch enemy, as far as she showed, Kemi Olu lawyer wants Davido about the consequences of his action and tells him not to go against the government in any way. She asks that they will kill him if he doesn't stay clear of their business. Here is a video of Davido talking things about the government. Yo, so real talk, everybody calling me, telling me, yo, David, you have to chill, you have to chill. These people are dangerous. First of all, I, don't, I ain't scared of nobody. And they ain't gonna do shit. Second of all, it's family, bro. Especially when it's right. I don't know what family means to you guys. Yo, so real, what family means to me is that if you're my family and I love you, I will go all the way to protect you and defend you. That's family and that's love. And people know that about me. When I love you, I love, love you. What family? Number three is about my fucking country, Nigeria. Our country, our land, the future of our kids. By the future of Imade, Haley, and my, my other kids that I will give, I will have in the future. It's all about them. So, number three, miss me with that bullshit to say stop, let the guy do his remaining three years and go, fuck that. He living right now. I don't give a fuck. And no cap, ain't shit gonna happen to David O. No cap. On G, clear. Miss me. Now, this is what journalist Kemi Oluloyos told David O on Twitter. David O's friends warned him of imminent assassination or arrest by the DSS for making do or die threats on his uncle becoming governor. The Adeleke cost is real. Better be careful with M. Buhari and reach out for your US passport. Hashtag Kemi Talks. She also said, Davido is messing with national security. They will kill him and it will look like an accident. Stop threatening a sitting governor. It's not your battle. Your money means nothing. I am an investigative journalist and your next purchase may be a casket. Stop immediately. What do you think about this? To me, I, just, I, I think that this, this woman is bothering Davido too much. He's bothering Davido too much. This woman should just chill. This woman should take a chill pill. I mean, is he trying to woo Davido and Davido didn't agree? Is that... I just tired. <sighs> Still in the news! Self-acclaimed male baby, Bob Brisky, took to social media to issue a stern warning to Nigerians who are in the habit of referring to him as bro. In a video which he shared on his IG page yesterday, the bleaching advocate says he is a beautiful girl and should be referred to as baby girl or pretty woman. 
Here is a video clip of him saying the trash he has to say. Hello guys, good evening to you. This video is for some idiots on my page. I'm going to post a picture, you will tell me, you look good bro. What is your bro? Please, can you bro eh? Your bro is in Yaba, collecting treatment. I am a beautiful girl. So if I post a picture and you feel you want to comment, you comment and say, you look beautiful, baby girl, pretty woman. Don't come to my and tell me, bro, who is your bro? So I will say, ah, you're so fine, bro. Alpha, bro. Hey, you're wearing it. Tell me, bro. Hello, see you back. Hello, bro. You see me. Or you bro. See, let us learn how to respect ourselves on this Instagram. Oh, yes, open our nash. All of us open our nash. So be careful. Okay? When I say O'Shea, you say. Baddest. 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 Hey, what do you think about this? Bob Risky have a Bob Danger. <laughs> well, someone once told me to be a man is noisy. That's why Bob Risky changed to be a woman. What do you think about this? Let me know what you think in the comment section. <laughs> Lastly, in the news. Nollywood actress Regina Daniels took to social media to pen down a lovely message to her ex-boyfriend and actor Somadima Adima on his birthday yesterday. The Nollywood actors were once an item before Regina Daniels got married to an elderly hobby, Ned Woko. In a special birthday message to Somadina, the actress wrote, There is no other male friend that can take your part in my life. This is true because you have been the best of them since this day. Happy birthday, baby. <laughs> what do you think about this? Is Regina Daniels trying to ditch his billionaire husband? What do you think? To me, I don't understand this anymore. Or are they still dating? In fact, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know because I'm right now I'm confused. Let me know what you think in the comment section. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram with Master Bless. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Like this video. Share with your friends. Text me on Instagram, WhatsApp. The links are in the description. I love you guys. Thank you for your support lately. And peace. Please click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then click on the bell icon for notifications. Money. Money.